Welcome to the first annual mech competition. Round one, fight number one, will be Kai versus Nia. Fight! Winner! The next fight is Jay versus Zane. Fight! The final fight of round one is Lloyd versus Cole. Fight! Winner! The first fight of the second round is Kai versus Zane. Fight! Winner! Wait, Lloyd, who do I get to fight in round two? That doesn't sound good, guys. What is it? Oh no, it's Garmadon! Hello there, ninja. Hey, I can fight Garmadon for the second round. Fight! Winner! So the winners of the mech tournament are Kai and Cole. Hey guys, this is BrickBros728 here, and for this video, the reason I made this was because today is my one year anniversary. That's right, one year ago, I decided with my brother that we would make a YouTube video, a stop motion, and we would post it on YouTube. And that's what we did. It wasn't very good, but it was our first experience, and it got us into YouTube, and we kept doing it for the whole year. So yeah, I still can't believe that I've been on YouTube for one whole year. It just feels like a lot longer. Um, so here we've got some minifigures. And these were me and my brother's favorite minifigures for the, from the past year. And we're just going to be showing you them because um, we like doing special things for special events. So my brother chose Cruncher and Whiplash. And these were from 2011 when Ninjago first started. But we only actually got them uh, within the past year, sometime in 2017. And my brother really likes them, and I think they're pretty cool as well. So here we can see uh, Cruncher, who's probably my favourite out of the two. I just like him better in terms of character, and he looks cooler. And here is Whiplash, who, again, is really cool. Um, these are really nice minifigures, but not as good as the Legacy 2019 ones, in my opinion. So now on to the next minifigure. So here we have the four-armed version of Mr. E from Sons of Garmadon. I like how the upper torso, the second arms, is kind of reflective. And if we zoom in, we can see all the red fiery stuff and the E symbol, which is really cool in my opinion. Um, I like how on his biker jacket there's a zip, and on the back we can see the Sons of Garmadon logo. And the really cool thing about this face print is that the eyelashes are very nice, which misled people to think he was a woman. And there's actually no mouth. I've never seen a minifigure without a mouth. And here is the Mask of Vengeance. I really like the white horns and the yellow mouth and eyes. So here we have my favourite minifigure of all time. This is Stone Armor Cole. I just love all the torso printing and how it is the same as Kai, Jay and Lloyd because it makes them look similar and identical and unified. Um, I also like the leg printing, which is pretty cool. Um, and of course, he's got the generic silver armour. And there we can see a close-up of him. There we go. And if we spin him around, of course, he just has a regular sword. But now we can see his back detailing, which is so cool. And his face. His face is really cool because it is actually the ghost face that he had in 2016, but recolored in yellow. So a yellow human face of the ghost face. I just think that is super cool. So here is the comparison to the ghost face. And as we can see, if we take the hair off, identical faces. 
Uh, the ghost face is a bit chipped, but that's not a problem because they are exactly the same. Um, and on the ghost face, he has a calm expression on the back, but Stone Armor Cole has no calm expression whatsoever. So here is another comparison, um, and this is so I can show you that the torso prints are exactly the same. Lloyd's does look a bit different, but that's just because how they printed it back then. But they are the exact same torso print, aside from that Cole and Lloyd have their different elemental symbols. And of course Cole has a new leg print, and they both also have the silver armor, which is really cool as well. So here we have my favorite minifigure from the Hunted sets. This is Hunted Lloyd. Um, I really like his torso printing. There's a lot of patched up armor covering the Sons of Garmon suit. I can see the Wuku symbol and the lime green on his torso. That's really nice. And I like how there's not too much resemblance of the Sons of Garmon on. It's kind of a new suit. Of course, he has his hairpiece. And I like how his like knee pads are kind of cracked on his legs. I think that's really cool. And overall, this minifigure is a great minifigure. Here we have Muzzle, the Dragon Hunter, who is from Hunted. He comes in Firstborn, Stormbringer, and Diesel Mort. So he has this spear weapon, which is really cool as well, in my opinion. So here I've got Dragon Master Wu. And as we can see, the masks from the Dragon Masters and Sons of Garmadon and Hunted Ninja are actually compatible with this new Hunter armor. So we can see Wu's top mask is compatible with Muzzle's armor. And Wu's bottom mask is compatible with Muzzle's head. So the last minifigure on this list is Dragon Master Wu. I really like his torso print and his leg print. It's really cool. Again, Silver Shurikens is always nice. And I like how the white is compatible with all the gold on him. That looks really cool as well. And I like the top mask piece with the white bandana and how there's no print on it and that's really cool as well and i like how if you get the top mask it works with zane's bottom white mask piece from the movie here we can see Wu's first expression is a smiley face and his alternate expression is an angry face here we can see him with just the top mask piece on, and of course both faces have a moustache print, which is really cool. 